All right, it's time to enjoy a great second breakfast courtesy of our next guest. Chicken and waffles is a popular combo. Brad Barzalowski with a new waffle shop here in River City makes his debut on Virginia this morning in our kitchen to create. And you've got a little, uh, kind of a kooky little spin on this. Before we even get started, your waffle shop is in the business district downtown. Yes, it is. Which, mean, uh, you wouldn't think, like, put, let's put a waffle shop there, but that's a great idea because it's so good, it's it's quick and tasty, and uh, I bet you got a great reaction right off the bat, didn't you? Oh, we did. It was uh, from the second we opened, it was uh, line out the door, yeah. and it's been getting better and better. Uh, we started doing events in the area. We will be opening up more hours as well. Um, also, kind of for everyone, it's a little vacation from their day. We yeah. play some uh, some reggae music, have some funny pictures on the wall. It's not <laughs> so your, the waffles uh, are selling like hotcakes. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So um, we, we're kind of playing around a little bit, and we're going to get to this secret ingredient in a second, which is just kind of goofy when you when you hear it, but then it makes sense. What are you doing so far? What have you got in there so far? All right, so I started with a dry mix, and the dry mix has uh, two cups of flour, and it has uh, half a cup of oats, and then we have about a, a teaspoon and a half of uh, baking powder, and then uh, an ounce of sugar. Yeah, yeah, you've been whipping this up pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mix up the dry mix, and then the wet mix, uh, we have uh, um, a cup of oil, uh, we have a cup of milk, and then um, a fourth of a cup of, uh, actually, we do a special syrup uh, from Maple Creek Farm to do a little chili, uh, chili pepper syrup to kind of throw in a little flair to I the uh, I saw that. So the, the syrup has a kick. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. It does. So if you don't want it just completely sweet, you can go this way with this, and, and that'll get, give it a little, little bite. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Bite your back. So we took the, uh, the wet mix, put it with the dry, and uh, now we have what you see here, which is actually our waffle batter. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and uh, start getting that cooking so that we can eat some waffles. Yeah, let's do. All right. So you brought a little little teeny grill. I'm, I'm guessing the one at the restaurant's a little bit bigger than that. A little bigger, and then we have about 10 times more than that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're putting some uh, canola oil on the uh, waffle iron, you know, of course, so there's no stick. Um, now, I suggest just plopping the mix right in the middle. Um, basically, you kind of don't have the edges on the waffle. It makes it look a little different, plumps up a little differently, too, when you have all the mix right in the middle. So now we're going to close this up. On a normal day at your uh, waffle shop, how many waffles do you guess you guys turn out? Well, so right now, you know, we're in the business district. We're only open from 9 to 2, Monday through Friday, and we do 11 to 3 on Saturday. Um, but in that time, it, well, basically, as soon as lunch hits, we'll go through about 200 waffles. Wow. Let's get the chicken going because we're short on time. All right. Yes. Yeah, so, so we got the chicken. We're going to go ahead and just make the egg wash for the chicken. It's literally just some milk. Milk and, and two eggs. eggs. Yeah. Crack that in there. And now we have some raw chicken. These the are just like the... little chicken strips or breast. Or... Yeah, you, you can buy them in strips or you can just buy some breast and cut them to your liking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you want thick, they're obviously going to take a little longer to cook. Uh, thin, I, I kind of like them a little smaller. Uh, I'm, Kind of all about the waffle part yeah. too. So. All right, we got one minute left, so we're all a little right. rushed here. Let's I hate to push this. you along here, but oh, no problem. So first, we're gonna flour. Yeah. Flour the tender. And then we're gonna bathe them, aren't we? Yep, we're gonna yep. bathe it. Yeah. For a little extra crisp, we're gonna put it right back in. Go ahead and drop this right in the fryer. All right. All right, and then that secret ingredient we talked about. Yes, yes. So that is actually uh, Captain Crunch. <laughs> yep. So you have extra crunchy chicken. Yes, yes, yeah. we do. Now, do you put that on after the chicken comes out? Uh, yeah. So, um, well, actually, since this is going to be taking a little longer to cook, yeah. uh, we actually put the chicken on the waffle and the Captain Crunch on top with uh, some powdered sugar and some parsley. Well, I'll tell you what, that looks fantastic, and I can't wait to get down there and come down for lunch and uh, run in and grab some real quick. Sounds good. We'll be Listen waiting. To the reggae music.